What's up guys and welcome back to Need for Speed Heat. Today we are going to be hopping behind the wheel of yet another vet. That's right baby. So a few episodes ago we did the 2013 Z06 and it's actually a little bit more expensive and a little bit more capable. It's got better performance numbers and stuff like that stock. But uh, I mean here we've got a 2017 Corvette Grand Sports. And uh, I think it's going to be a little bit more exciting. I mean, you, you got to love the old school Z06s. Like, those are really, really cool. But to be honest, I really love the body style of this more modern version. Technically, this isn't even the new version. You guys know we've got the new Corvettes, the mid-engine ones that uh, I, I don't... Have they started selling yet? I think they're going to start selling soon. Maybe like the summer of this year or something like that. Don't quote me on that because I'm not 100% sure. But um, yeah, this is kind of like the, the generation before that. So this should be pretty fun. I mean, you guys can see stock. It does have quite a bit of power, but uh, I do think we're going to kind of improve that a little bit. You guys can see, uh, I believe, do, do all Corvettes, are they all, do they all have the removable tops? I know for the new ones they do, but for this generation, did they? Or did you need to have a special one to, uh, to have the removable tops? I'm pretty sure they all do. But um, anyway, yeah, this thing is going to be pretty sick. We're going to soup it up. We're going to trick it out. It's going to be fun. Oh, nice wheels. Thanks, brother. I appreciate it. So you guys can see stock here. We've got uh, 460 horsepower with a 3.80 to 60 max torque of 465, top speed of 190. I mean, honestly, that's not bad, but I am feeling like upgrading this bad boy. So I think we're going to go through and we are going to max everything out. You guys can see back on the other screen. I think we're going to max out around a 1200 horsepower. So we're going to have a 1200 horsepower vet. I'm pretty sure, isn't that exactly what we had with the, um, trying to see what's, what's best here. Ooh, the centrifugal supercharger. Should we go for that? I'm down for it. Whatever. Sounds good to me on a V8. It's going to sound nice, but uh, I'm pretty sure that's the same setup we had on our last vet. So we're going to go through, let's go ahead and get our, um, uh, Ooh, not a, not a rally suspension. Sorry about that. Definitely going to want a track suspension on this bad boy. We're going to have the better brakes, better tires on here is going to make a massive difference for sure. And then if we have a better, better drivetrain or clutch, I'm sorry, we're just going to upgrade the, the drivetrain across the, the board here. So you guys can see 1200 horsepower. We're a level 400 plus down to a 2.2 0 to 60. We've got over a thousand torque. Dude, this thing is going to be insane. So now let's head into paint and wrap and see what the community's got for us. Our last one we had was yellow and we had the stripes over the front fenders. If you guys remember that, I'm thinking about going with some, some vertical stripes down the hood. Something like that actually looks pretty nice. Even if we didn't keep the red, I don't mind the red. Ooh, dude, that is pretty gnarly right there. I actually really like that. I'm, I'm thinking we're going to go with the silver. I actually really like the way this turned out, but I'm going to come in here. I'm going to take off all the sponsors and stuff. I don't know. That just looks, it looks a little chinsy to me. I even think I might, I might take that black line off the side too. I feel like that's not really necessary. But yeah, we're going to take off the night runner there. We'll take off the sponsors and everything on this side. Just make it look a little bit cleaner. I like that. I mean, we could go for the race car look, but um, I don't know. I, I kind of, I kind of like keeping it plain and being able to see the body for what it is. So let's hop into the body. Speaking of which, and let's see what we've got. So for a hood, we've got one that's a little bit more aggressive, has a few more holes in there for some better aerodynamics. Cool. That engine down sounds good to me. We've got a couple of different bumper options here. Ooh, to be honest, I don't know. Let me see what we've got going on for fenders. Do we have any wide body options or anything? Interesting. So it looks like we can add a little bit of carbon fiber there instead of the black plastic, which I definitely think we're going to go for. What's going on back behind this wheel? Kind of an odd, odd thing we have going on there. I would rather have the big vent. So I'm going to switch to carbon fiber, but keep the vent. So we've got that. Definitely smoke out the headlights here. Let's see what else. I mean, what do we want to go for here? What do you guys think? I feel like the stock looks pretty good, but something like it kind of looks like he's smiling. He's got some dimples there. I kind of like that. That one looks pretty interesting. I guess I'm going to go for this. I, I like the Alchemist kit there. Looks pretty good. Splitter. Um, feel like it's not really necessary. Feel like the stock one probably looks the best. And then we could put some prior design canards on there. Let me see the prior design. The prior design one here. You know, I, I, I don't know. I think, I think I'm going to leave it as is. I feel like that looks pretty good there. All right, so wing mirrors. See what we got going on. I typically kind of like the um, I like the stock ones. So this, we kind of lose a vent. 
Then there's this, and then there's this. I feel like the Pryor Design one's pretty clean, adds some carbon fiber, but keeps the vent and everything else, looks pretty nice. Rear fenders, what do we wanna go for here? I'm gonna go with the smooth Alchemist one rather than the really bubbly Pryor Design one, looks pretty good there. Smoke the taillights, you guys know the deal. There's no surprise there. Rear bumper, this is where things might get a little interesting. So we're gonna add a ton of carbon for the Alchemist one. We've got a Speed Hunters one, or we've got this. What's, ah, I didn't even notice the Corvette in the middle. What do you guys think? See, I really, I really like the carbon, but I also feel like that looks pretty sick. So I think I'm gonna go for that. All right, we've got these quad exhausts and a diffuser down here. Let's see what we wanna do. Ooh, I'm gonna go with the prior design one. Dude, this thing is looking pretty, pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie. Quad exhausts, are we? I mean, I guess it keeps quad in a lot of these. I feel like we're not gonna get, get much better than what's stock. I really like those stock exhausts right there. That looks pretty good. License plate, what should we call it? Where does a sick dog have to go? It's, it's gotta go to the vet. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, that was, that was pretty bad, but we're, we're just gonna leave, we're gonna leave it on there. If I had a Corvette, that's probably what I would make my license plate, I'm not gonna lie. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and go with that. Nice, not too bad. And uh, last but not least, I think we do, we've got some roof customization. I think I'm gonna close it up. I actually really like it with the tops on there. And then of course we've got our, uh, we've got our, our, our diffuser, our spoiler. Not diffuser, but spoiler. So we can keep the stock one, but make it a little bit more carbon. We've got this, we've got this, or we've got this. I'm gonna go with the stock carbon one. Dude, this thing looks pretty mean. Look at that rear end. Like that is just fat with a PH. That thing, I, I really like what we've done with it. I wish we had some better front splitter options. I just don't really, I don't really love either one of these. I feel like the front end is kind of missing something there on the, the front bottom. I'm tempted to go with this just to give us a little bit of carbon fiber. I guess we'll go for it. I just, I, I feel like it doesn't really look all that great. I wish we had some some other options there, but uh, overall this thing is, is looking pretty sick, dude. I'm really liking this. Stance, we can go ahead and lower this thing a little bit. Do we want any effects on there? I mean, nitrous color, I guess we could go red. Nitrous always looks good on stuff like that. And underglow, we can go red. By far our most used customization option right here is the red underglow. It's need for speed, you kinda gotta do it, you know what I mean? So we've got all that there. Uh, exhaust, I'm kinda tempted to, to leave it stock. I think I'm gonna leave it stock, dude. Maybe make it a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more raw, but I like that Corvette sound. So there you guys have it. This is our brand new vet. I feel like it turned out pretty sleek. I really like all the little carbon fiber additions and stuff, and uh, I'm excited to see what you can do. So I did make one change uh, since I left you guys, and that's uh, that's the red Brembo calipers on here, which I feel like just kind of adds to, to all the little badging and insignias and stuff like that, kind of brings it all together a little bit. We didn't change the wheels. I mean, you guys can see it, it does have the, the Corvette emblem in those wheels. And I just, I don't know, I, I feel like they, they look pretty good. I didn't feel like we had to change the rims. And uh, let's uh, let's get into it. So, I mean, this, this is obviously an American muscle car, one of the most traditional, one of the most well-respected. And uh, it's got a long, exciting, very fruitful history in racing. So why not take it out to the Daytona 500, baby? Here we go. I guess technically this is Miami, so this would be the, the Homestead Speedway. But uh, we're going to take it on a nice little... You know, NASCAR race, turn left. We're gonna see what she can do. Pretty much just wide out the entire time. And uh, let's just kinda, kinda get to know the speed a little bit here. The resort circuit. I think we've got four or five or six laps or something like that here. And uh, looks like we've got some pretty healthy competition. I see that Z06 behind us. It's got purple headlights on there, kind of an interesting one, a little, little bit different. I feel like that's something I don't really venture out in, is the uh, the different colored headlights. Maybe we'll have to start doing that, but uh, yeah, dude, Corvettes. Been killing it on the racetrack for a while. We've got a nice little tri-oval here that we are going to be going around, and wow, yeah, this thing is, is fast. Oh, watch out for the wall. We're good. Good save. Not too bad. Dude, look at these Paganis and everything else. We are just absolutely demolishing the competition, man. Just keep it low. Beautiful work so far. Make sure you keep a nice line here, Trev. Dude, that's something that 
A, a series that I never thought would actually do well is the, the few NASCAR heat videos that we did when I was playing on the simulator. Might have to, uh, to bust that back out at some point. You know what I mean? That was kind of fun. Saw just recently they, they confirmed that uh, Drive to Survive Season 2 is coming out. February 28th. Stoked for that. Might have to restart up some F1 in honor of that. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. But um, In terms of need for speed, this Corvette's doing pretty well, my man. We are catching back up to the, the majority of the pack here. Could have come flying through. Touch the wall a little bit. But if you ain't rubbing, you ain't racing, baby. Going to fight our way through this pack. I really wish this race was a little bit longer and I wish it was a little bit more intense. I remember some of the the NASCAR races on, on GTA, they were honestly a ton of fun. So, uh, bada bing, bada boom, we are able to lap pretty much half of the pack there. And uh, I would venture to say this thing's pretty quick. On to our next race, baby. Here we go. So, uh, I thought about switching over to the night, but I kind of wanted to appreciate this thing for one more race in the daytime. I've got a feeling we're going to kind of be a, a bit stealthy in the night. So, we'll... We'll appreciate these curves and these angles and these edges one more time. We've got a level 380 race here, so it's going to be fairly easy for us, but uh, might, might give the competition a bit of a head start. We've got to judge what a, a good amount of a head start is, though. You know what I mean? Sometimes I kind of struggle with that, but uh, here we go, baby. About to make this competition a sick dog and put him down. It's kind of a <laughs> sad thing to think about. I kind of like that plate, though. You know what I mean? I feel like that's kind of a... I wonder if anybody's ever thought of that. I feel like that's one of the more creative place... Or plate... License plates. Not places. Creative license plates that we've thought of in this game. Ooh, I like that Ferrari right there. That thing looked pretty nice. I love slammed Ferraris for some reason. I have no clue why. It's pretty stupid to do, but I just... I kind of like the look of them. So here we go. I'm going to say... We've got three laps. I'm going to say let's give them... Let's give him 20 seconds. Ness is about a thousand yards in front of us right now. We're just barely getting started. We're gonna have our work cut out for us, but uh, I like a little challenge, man. We're gonna be okay. Ooh, ooh, hello. Okay, 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 Trev. Let's let's hang it in there, boy. We got this. Here we go. So keep an eye uh, up at the top left. You guys can see where people are at and kind of what's happening, how close we are to the person in front of us. I guess you can also see it on the, the mini map down there, so we'll... We'll see if we can kind of get this done. That was about the most perfect turn that I think we ever could have had. My goodness. That was solid. Dude, listen to that supercharger at work. I love it. Oh, a little bit tight there, but we're fine. Got to watch out for these barricades because they are definitely going to slow us down a ton. So we're about 1,300 yards behind first. Come on. Go, baby, go. Go, baby, go. Go. Giddy up. 1,500 yards behind first now. Shoot. We may have done a little bit too much. I don't know. That, the problem is, is these guys are 380s. So being a 400 is not that much more. Even if we, even if we messed it up, we're still going to have a good time, though. You know what I mean? Oh, goodness gracious. We made it. That actually wasn't that bad. All right, so we're, we're two out of three laps here. Starting to make our way into this second lap. Hopefully going to be able to catch some of these guys. Beautiful work here, Trev. Beautiful work, beautiful work. Around the outside there. Beautiful work. Okay, not bad. That could have been worse. We're up in a sixth place. 48% of the way through the race. I guess technically we should have been halfway through the pack at this point. I think we may have given them a little bit too much of a head start. I don't know if there's anything we're going to be able to do here, but uh, we're just going to keep we're just going to keep grinding, dude. I don't even see the people up in first place. Come on, giddy up! We probably could have been using more nitrous. I didn't realize that it it rejuvenated that quickly. I thought we were only going to be able to use it once per lap, but it looks like we can get at least two in. Come on, baby. I love the whine of that supercharger. That's for sure. First and second are, are kind of within reach. Whoa, baby. Oh, my gosh. If we would have had nitrous right there, we could have exited that corner with nitrous. That would have been so sick. This this actually might, this might be close. Oh, my gosh. Trevor. 
Trevor, 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 Trevor. <laughs> that hurts so much. I was just trying to push that corner too hard. I wanted to go through without... Not without lifting. I lifted and tried to drift, but we were just... We were going too fast. Previous previous times around that corner, we had, uh, had kind of lifted off for a little bit longer to really get that, that rear end out there. Dude, that's always the problem, man. Like, in a... A sport like this where it's a matter of seconds, like you, you really, you just need to take it easy. You can't, you can't try to do too much all at once. You can't try to just, you know, floor it all the way through. You got to be smart. You got to hit those apexes. You got to make sure you're taking your time and not trying to jump the gun too much, which we just got caught doing. So that's all right though. I mean, we went from, uh, we went from last to podium with a 20 second delay. I don't think that's too bad. Honestly, I don't. We might have been able to catch second there. I don't know if we would have caught first anyway. It could. It, it would have been close, though. It would have been much more exciting than, than failing there. So I'm sorry about that, guys. But let's go ahead and hop into a nighttime race. Let's do a level 400 race. And uh, let's really... Let's really see what this thing's made of. Dude, he was only about nine seconds ahead of us there. I. You got to think we probably... Nine seconds. I, I don't know if that crash cost us nine seconds. Maybe it did. When you think about like the, the momentum that we lost and stuff like that, that that could have been the, the difference maker. So I think, yeah, Spirit of Oz right here. Let's fast travel over. We're going to switch to the nighttime. We're not going to make that mistake this time. You know, we already did once. It's fine. It happens. You got to you gotta live and learn. Nine seconds. I, I think we could have done it. Now that I really, really think about it, I think we could have made that happen. So maybe... Um, Maybe, maybe next time we get a car at this level, which is pretty much going to be just about every car from here on out. Maybe we do that next time. Or, or not, not next time, but like a couple episodes from now, we're going to retry that race. 20 second head start and, uh, and see if we can do it. But uh, anyway, here we go. Final race of the day. Final race in the vet. Look at this thing in the nighttime. You got to love it, dude. I mean, went, went pretty basic with the... Uh, the gray and the black stripes and stuff, but I, I feel like it, I feel like it fits. I really wish we could have the carbon fiber insert on our front fenders and the rear fenders as well though. Cause I feel like it's a little bit unbalanced, but that wasn't an option, which is, is odd. So anyway, here we go, fellas. No head starts this time. We're just going to take it straight at these guys, straight at the cops. And let's see, uh, let's see if we can come out on top. I really like that rear bumper, dude. I like having, like, the mesh in there. You know what I mean? It's kind of weird, though, because, like, a lot of times, like, you know, Lambos and stuff will have that. Like, the Evos and stuff, because that's their engine back there. They want to be able to vent it. Obviously, this Corvette is a front engine. So, you're just kind of venting out your... Venting out your trunk? Maybe it's for the body that we got back there. You know what I mean? So, here we go, baby. A little rubbing. Let them know we're here. Ford versus Corvette happening. Ford versus Chevy. Ooh, we got a McLaren. No big deal. Go ahead and speed on by him. Got to be careful. I don't like being in this oncoming lane of traffic. Really don't like coming out around that far. Dude, we haven't even used our nitrous yet. We're killing it. We're good. This thing is just... I, I feel like it just has... It has go. You know what I mean? Like, it just keeps going. It just slowly keeps climbing speed. Like, it's not ridiculously fast. It's not blow your brakes off or your, your doors off fast. Blow your brakes off. What kind of a, a saying is that, Trev? Woo! But I, just, I feel like it, it's just constantly, steadily building. It's just, just solid American muscle. You know what I mean? I like this supercharger that we have in here. Centrifugal supercharger, I think it was. But yeah, just it always, it, it doesn't feel ridiculous. It just feels like it's always got a little bit more to give you. It's always got a little bit more in the tank, which is, uh, is kind of cool. We are blowing these guys out of the water, dude. This isn't even fair. I love it. Let me see what our, looks like we're going to go through some corners and stuff and then use our, uh, woo, be careful. Use our nitrous at the end of that. Cops are nowhere to be seen. Let's be careful. Just keep this thing on the road. We don't got to be crazy like we were last time. Like we said, it's a game of seconds. 
Slow is steady and steady is quick. Is that how you say it? Something like that. There's some sort of a, a saying that I've used before. I forget it now, though. Come around this corner. We've got our last little stint here, I believe. There's a cop. He's not there anymore. <laughs> We're already gone, dude. This thing was fun. It actually feels pretty good, too. I feel like it had a really nice balance of uh, speed mixed with, with control and being able to slide and stuff. So, boom. There you guys have it. That, my friends, is a 1,200 horsepower Corvette. This thing was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. I'm glad we souped it up. And, uh... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to see you guys in our next episode. Eventually, we're going to retake on that uh, retake on that challenge, see if we can do it. But for now, I'll see you guys later. Let me know what we should do next. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Peace out. That looked like fun. Nice work.